For my art critique analysis, I decided to make a video about two specific art pieces that can be found at the Getty Museum. They are available from February 7th till April 30th. I thought that these would be great for this analysis because of the detail in line, color, and light. Both artworks show how the three elements can affect the overall image and, const and construct our perception of the image. I will start with this first painting done by Barbara Regine Dish. This is called Dandelion, a watercolor project that has a gold trim on the edge of the piece, on the edges of the piece. Barbara is known for specializing in watercolor, painting mostly flowers, plants, and animals. She died in May of 1783 in her home, Nuremberg, Germany. Considering the time frame of the 1700s, her pieces are considered timeless in my perception as there is no indication of this being an old piece, but rather a detailed painting of, da of a dandelion. The, co the colors in the painting contrast well due to the dandelion standing out and being the sole focal point with the dark murky background. There is one standing tall with another one hugging behind it wilting and what appears to be a small firefly on the left of the frame. I feel that the leaves are a great contrast to the overall background. The edges range of different green tones while the inside remains with a white base. This is where line is used effectively as there are thin strokes of auburn red to create the actual veins that real life leaves have. Different tones of brown that are edged on the bottom half of the stem giving a surreal appearance. All the small details collectively bring this piece to life. The finest strokes of white had to be used to create the dandelion puffs brighter in the, in the front and the faded strokes in the back and sides to give the 3D effect. This is where shadow plays an important role. If you notice the leaves are not in one singular faced state, all four of them are, are holding a twined pose that emphasizes all three factors of light, color, and line. I find them to be the most important factor of the whole piece. Although the dandelion head is significant in showing the depths and variations of white and the effects it can create. What stood out to me was the way the leaves were created. The use of white not only helped to, con helped to contrast the piece, but it also made the small firefly in the corner. Um, it's enough to, sh to know where it is, but not too much to change the focus away from the dandelion. I think Barbara's purpose was to use the flowers and represent change in people, the way that we go through phases and how we are not singular. Okay. We have different dimensions. Sometimes we stand tall, sometimes we will or lean. We're all part of life cycles like the dandelion. For the next piece, I want to discuss this lamp this is landscape with a bear tree and a plowman created by Leon Bonbin. This piece was done with watercolor, pen and different ink colors during the year 19 sorry, during the year 1864. During the 60s, Leon became exclusive to watercolor and specified his art to nature. I chose this art piece because of its tree. I think it was done extremely well because to me this painting represents a photo it except it's a creation of what Leon was capturing with his eyes and his hands. He was extremely detailed with the strokes and choices, choices of colors. The overall look and feel of this painting gives a muggy afternoon in the fall with a sense of solidarity and loneliness. There was a lot of brown used in this piece. There's also a lot of green and black tones, but primarily shades of brown. I feel like that I feel that brown represents a sense of earth. Considering this is a landscape painting, I feel that Leon wanted to invite the viewer to see and experience the landscape from a third person perspective. You can see the lonely man in the distance, but you're not sharing a personal space or proximity, but you do see him doing some type of yard work. He's also not the focus of the painting. Um, I, I find the focus to be the tree, although it's not the 
not in the forefront. It is the largest piece of the painting. It uses all light, line, and color to achieve the seasoned appearance. The finest strokes were used to create the effect of branches and twigs. It resembles a tree transitioning with time while maintaining a lively look with fluffed leaves. It stands tall compared to the branch and bush that show that are showed in the left corner. The the bush is missing leaves and shows many thorned twigs as if there were once flowers attached to it. Leon also used stroke and light to emphasize the difference the distance of length between the ground and the sky. He was able to create a huge, a true landscape by creating distance with the tones of brown and strokes of color. There's some type of grass that is slowly changing to dirt and the sky also seems to have a different color off in the backside, which doesn't define how far the landscape goes. Artists like Barbara and Leon were advanced with their art pieces. Both actively created paintings with the intention of personal experience using their professional strategies to create depth in their paintings. Thank you.